Hello, I'm Christopher, and I'll be briefly going over the contributions I did for my iPro group. This is the AI dataset generator program that I've created built upon Unity 3D. So if you're grabbing the GitHub files, uh, you want to first get Unity Hub, and uh, this will manage all your Unity installs. You want to create a new project targeting uh, version 2020.3.30 F1 using the uh, high definition render pipeline. All right, once you get that set up, uh, inside the, oh, sorry. Uh, first, Unity will create a folder structure similar to this. Just drag in the assets and project settings from the GitHub repository and overwrite any files that need be. All right, so once that's completed, uh, you have a virtual render studio and just go to the scenes, open up the studio scenes. Everything in the render should be pre-configured for you on the upper section of the dotted line. Everything below is within the Unity, uh, or within our GitHub repository's documentation. So just follow the guide there to know what each of the functions do. If you're still confused about it, just look over the code. It's, uh, it's not the prettiest piece of software, but a uh, few glances over it, and I think you'll be able to understand uh, how this functions. I've segmented some parts to make it easier, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty self-explanatory. All right, so uh, let's uh, demonstrate dragging in an object, which I did not cover too much in detail for the, uh, on the GitHub repository. So there's something called a COV over here, and that's a centered view. You want to just enable that. And uh, let's drag in a test object. And you want to align it as close as uh, possible to the COV. Uh, the COV is where the camera center is lo or where the camera is looking towards. And you want to drag that into the focus model folder. Each of these uh, folders gets iterate or everything in the first layer gets iterated through. Uh, so nested objects like uh, the EMV1 and EMV won't independently uh, get iterated through. So it'll go A, B, C, D, like that, and uh, essentially the same for lighting and uh, the models. So uh, for the sake of uh, brevity, let's just drag everything out of here as a demonstration for our test render. You also want to disable the CLV once you're done with it, because you don't want it to end up in the uh, final render. All right. Uh, if you click Start Render, you'll see that the application must be in play mode. This means just hit the play button. Uh, I'm going to let the fans run for a bit, so uh, this will be real quick. All right, once you're done with that, uh, you'll see where the data set has been uh, saved to. For me, it's in my pictures directory, so let's just head on there. And uh, what do you know? It's right over here. And the, since we're using uh, a data set, our labeling for uh, YOLO on Darknet, uh, each image comes with its own uh, label file, which is needed for the uh, Darknet uh, framework, which you can find on a different repository by Alex. So uh, you would need to compile it to work with your system. Note that you do need an NVIDIA graphics card for this, because NVIDIA runs, our NVIDIA has CUDA and uh, CUDA deep neural network libraries. So uh, I won't get into that. Uh, you can find all the information on tutorial videos and the Darknet repository on GitHub. Uh, just make sure you drag the files into the data sets and uh, there's config files that you need to set up properly in order for uh, the framework to target the images we've created. Uh, you also need to, uh, once you drag it over, make sure you rename this just Control H and replace all with the uh, new location. Otherwise, it doesn't know where to find it. All right, so for Innovation Day, I've created a uh, simple in virtual environment hooked up to a OpenCV2, which allows us to run the uh, neural network we trained, our, uh, the neural network weights that we trained. Note that this is a two-class uh, trained data our trained network because uh, we couldn't really get 12 classes working properly with our limited amount of time. So I'll just be demonstrating that. So if we just start the program. I'll also note that I do not have CUDA nor uh, 
CUDA deep neural network libraries installed, so the frame rate is definitely going to suffer here since it's running on the CPU and not the GPU. All right, as you can see, uh, because I've uh, neglected to add a distance metric or variable distance in our uh, training data, it sort of has this issue where it thinks this entire thing is a hack swat. So once we move in closer, it should resolve itself. Well, let me turn on my fan so things run a little bit smoother. Yeah, as you can see, uh, it does identify the hack squat properly, but some other objects it thinks it's something which is not, but uh, of course this was not in the class since this is a two class network, our trained weights, but uh, it does classify the bicep curl and the hack squat properly. Similarly over here, we have the same results. Even though the object is obfuscated, it still does an excellent job at detecting and classifying it properly besides the uh, not bicep curl object we have there. So yeah, this is just a brief overview. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me since I may or may not be taking this iPro next year. So uh, all right, thank you very much.